Hi guys, welcome back to Honeybee's Hive. I'm Honeybee. Um, I decided, so this is going to be a short video. I am painting and I just wanted to let you guys know something. I know you guys had seen um, my um, seven month old June asleep for a while. I decided, I started working on her limbs. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I decided that I'm going to go ahead and list her on Etsy. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and put her as she's coming. She's on her way. I have three of them actually coming. I have two Stevens, one asleep, one awake. They can You can get those as twins if you like. Um, the June asleep is going to be listed on there she's not quite ready yet because none of these are quite ready yet because I still have um, his head is finished so now I'm working on his limbs he still needs to be um, he's already he has texture and everything so he's, he looks really good I like him I texturize his hair I texturize um, his little rash and I texturize his skin so um, he feels amazing he is um, oh, what is it called when you know you have to touch something and the way it feels this will be very good for um, those type of individuals um, she is also textured so if you like that type of thing um, these three are going to be, well, these two so far are going to be very textured. The Stephen Awake, I'm going to texture him too. So we're going to say all three of them are going to be. Um, it does take a while for me to do it because it's a three different steps in there. And I do the same thing with the limbs. The limbs, her limbs, um, oh, also my seven month old June is, um, air dry paints so and what the problem was this is what happened so this was I started working on her and I love working on the heads because I, that's how it's you bring them to life you know okay that is a wrong brush no wonder <laughs> I'm like wait a minute this is not working right um let me see Oh, goodness gracious. So that can happen when you're working on multiple different projects. But I put aside my Steven because I wanted to uh, work on her limbs because I still... Okay, so this is what happened. So I stopped working on them because I, um, I could not get the limbs correct, right, to where I liked them in the color. I mean, the feet... Everything, how pretty those feet are. And look at the hands. So they're shiny, so they still got to be matted. I have no idea what I painted that in or what I did, but I think that's the sealer. I think that's why that's done. Like, I think that's why that's shiny. So this is, has not been finished anyway because it needs to have a matte, um, a matte varnish on it. So when I am finished with this, though, she should be really pretty good to go. Um, I rooted her hair and I didn't have any issues. No, no, um, no paint coming off. No, nothing. So I really think she's going to be fine. Um, I finally figured out what I needed to do to darken the color. I don't know. I got the freaking color wheel over here, but I act like um, I, I forget. I forget everything I have. So I don't know. Sometimes you have to take a step back and then come back to your, um, your project, which is what I did. And when I did that, I was able to figure out what the problem was. And I was able to solve that problem. 
So that's what I'm doing right now is solving the issue that I was having. So with that being said, um, she will be listed on the Etsy. I have to look. I met, I screwed up the last time on Etsy. I, t <laughs> I screwed up the shipping and the Etsy fees. So I will be sure to make sure I do my calculations correct this time. The only thing I'm worried about is really the shipping. Oh my God, she's huge too. I don't know what I'm going to put her in. Um, so I'm going to have to go box shop, box hunting for her. I don't know. I might just end up putting her in. A, I hate to put her in just a... Um, I'll look. I'll have to look and see what I have. Yeah. I'll have to look in there and see what I can find for her. And see, it's already matting, so that's good. I use the matte medium for um, these. And then I'm sealing in a, um, what is that, paint? dry paint. And then I'm sealing in a, um, I finally found what I wanted to, I've been looking for this for a long time. So I'm going to seal in a folk art outdoor matte sealer. Looks really good. I have so many different um, finishers over here. Because that's just what I wanted to feel like when it worked with the air dry acrylic. Just it's so versatile. You can do so much with it. A lot more than you can do with the Genesis heat set paints. But I'm learning. So um oh this is like this is gonna be a short video. I just wanted to let you know that. Because I was sitting here and I was like, you know, I guess I need to let them know because that I am going to go ahead and put her up. Um, so she'll be up for adoption. And she is a big girl. Oh my goodness, she's a big girl. So she is coming together. Uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? That's it pretty much. So... Oh yeah, that's what I was telling you. So the issue was this arm right here. At the time, I was thinking that this, I had the right color was on the limb, the other limbs. Well, when I came back, after I took some time away and I came back and looked at it, the color on this arm was correct. It was the other three limbs that needed to be adjusted. So, and I had I, honestly, at the time, I had worked on this and worked on this and worked on this. And I could not get my coloring right. And that was my fault. So. And I have. Um, although art is not my major. Um, I took a lot of classes. Why? Because I've always loved it. Painting. Art. Um, I took sculpting. I took, um, oh, that's like sculpting. Oh, that was pretty cool. I learned how to do these. Um, um, one class I took was sculpting with paper, mache, with paper. I want to say paper mache. That's not quite paper mache because it's it's like solid. It's like it's like solid like a rock. Um, when once it dries, and then once it dries, you can cut. You can um, you can sand it. It's really pretty cool. I had made a vase. I don't know whatever happened to that vase. Um, another class I took was, um, oh, y'all remember charcoal? Yeah, charcoals. Oh, those are pretty cool. Yeah, I took that one. And uh, yeah, I, I took so many art courses. And then none of them were on what well, I hadn't really claimed a major yet. And then I decided I was going to do nursing. And, but I dipped out of that real quick because I realized that, um, my heart wasn't in it. And when your heart's not in something, you don't do so well in those classes. And I was not used to that. I was like, I'm not doing so well. And then I realized that I was not even able to remember this stuff. So then I was like, okay, you know what? You're really not into this. So 
couldn't see myself doing a job that um, I was going to be miserable in. And that is pretty much what I was coming up with because none of this stuff, none of the courses I was interested in. So I decided to still in healthcare, but I'm not working in healthcare, but that's what my major is. Um, I did used to work in healthcare a little bit. So then now I work. Well, anyway, I did all that to say what? To say that I know what I'm supposed to do, but <laughs> I don't always do that. <laughs> Why I don't know. Seriously, even in high school, I took art. That's, I mean, I, I've always opted for the art courses. I don't know how high school is now, but uh, when I was in high school, you were able to choose what program you wanted to do. Um, so I did the college readiness program. Um, you can choose because in high school you can choose you can choose if you wanted to do a um, like a technical career, like if you wanted to do I don't know um, what would be technical. List that in the comments, um, and that you can go to that you can just you know take a few courses and get certified, um, or they teach you a skill a skill set yeah. <coughs> um, so there we go. Okay, so now they're matching. So see now the colors are matching. Oh yeah, she's great. So now. I don't know if you can see what how everything is matching now. So the only thing I need to do now is her nails are already tipped. So nails are already tipped. Uh, fingernails are tipped. Fingernails are tipped. So now what I'm going to do is let this dry, and then once that dries, I'm able to mat. Let me do a little bit more on this one. Yeah, this acrylic paint, you gotta get in there fast. Because that stuff will dry on you. But yeah. Um I gotta go get her an outfit too. But anyway, June. She will be, I mean, we'll be putting her on Etsy pretty soon. So if you're interested in her, be looking for her. Um, Lillian B's, it's my, me and my daughter's. It's technically mine, but I put it in me and my daughter's name too. So it's Lillian B's. Because she's a water lily. And I'm honeybee. So... Anywho, just wanted to let you know, guys. And thank you, everyone, who has been wishing me well and want to know how I've been doing and telling me that I'm looking pretty good. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm falling out my chair. <laughs> I have these cushions in a chair, but I seem to be falling out the chair. Um... I did get down yesterday. Um, it's something. It, it's so easy for me to just slip down and start feeling defeated. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in that particular situation. I have so many things from group therapy, from group sessions that I was in. I guess I need to go get that folder out and start reading over that stuff until, because I don't have my, I haven't, they're still looking for me a therapist, so I have not, I don't have one just yet. But uh, I don't feel like I felt before. It's just that I start... It's so easy for me to just go from a go from a good mood to something happening and it just 
completely changes my mood and I'm just like low again. I don't want to do anything. So I've been fighting through it and I come in here and I paint. I even went out today and rode my bike. Um, I did so much better. Wee wee hush. We're barking back and forth with the dog. The dog in the backyard or somewhere is barking. So then she's barking in a house to the dog. <sighs> okay, yeah. So but anyway, that's all. I'll let you see her. And I'm a, when I fix her up, I'm going to comb her hair and everything. Right now I got her hair in little twigs. <laughs> because I, want, I didn't want it to just be flying all over the place. But um, there's my little Stephen. I'm working on the Stephen Awakes hair right now. I love that hair. It feels so good. Um, but yeah, she is not my best work. Um, definitely not. Um, I love her. I love her face. Her face is beautiful. Um, I think I need to, oh, I think I need to read her eyelashes. She doesn't have eyelashes. Okay, so I need to read her eyelashes. She is simply beautiful. Now, I did a wonderful job <laughs> on the head. Um, and I'm going to work on the limbs. And that's it. So, I love you guys. Toodles. Rubble glove. Peace.